Thanks for being with us here on 10 Tampa Bay this evening. One Sarasota charity is getting a dozen women off the streets, and it's all thanks to a $125,000 grant wow. from the Charles and Marjorie Baransic Foundation and other donations as well. Sacred Heart Homes is refurbishing four apartments for chronically homeless women with mental health challenges. One of the new tenants tells 10 Tampa Bay's Adore Achumba having a new roof over her head is already making a difference. I'm 72 years old and I had to sleep on the floor on a mat and pay $12 for that privilege. Denise Staggs became homeless when she was evicted 10 days after her husband died. She spent the next two and a half years couch surfing at Friends or paying $12 a night at the Salvation Army. Many other women end up homeless due to abuse, addiction, domestic violence, untreated trauma and mental health issues. And of course, the streets are unsafe. I have been assaulted. I have been robbed. Um, one of the downtown officers actually saved my life, saved me from being raped. But now Denise can rest her head. She's one of the first two of 12 women to get help with housing and mental health support from Sacred Heart Homes. And she brought a friend. As soon as I knew I was going to move in, I went to find Mary right away. I looked for her. I was just... It's just great to be able to choose a housemate in a program that you already know and feel comfortable with and can trust. Anyone coming into our program has, they must have a commitment to address their mental and physical health and achieve goals. This is a second of four units being prepared. As you can see, it's still being fixed up for the new tenants. Now, three women will be taken off the streets and they will call this place home. Volunteers also help the women find jobs, go to medical appointments, and engage in healthy activities and therapy. Howell says the women's needs are different and often involve emotional support and conflict resolution. And we want to set them up to be as self-sufficient as possible through our integrated services and collaborative approaches with the community and its services. Staggs is already rebuilding her life and now has a glow about her. How does it feel now? I'm a winner. I came to win and I'm going to. I have a job. Um, I actually had a job before I moved in. In addition to helping those women, the organization is currently housing 24 formless formerly homeless men also dealing with mental health challenges. They say their arms are always open for donations to help folks get off the streets.